guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are finally doing the June Boxy Lux unboxing. So it is July 8th. It took BoxyCharm forever to ship me my box and I had to contact them to ask them what the f was going on because it was June 23rd when I finally messaged them or June 26th when I finally messaged them and I said, hey, I don't have my tracking. The tracking is not on the website. I don't have a tracking email. It's not in my spam box. What's going on with the boxes? And then they sent me another email saying, oh, sometimes the tracking email goes to spam. It didn't. It's not in my spam box. I checked. And they sent me my tracking information and then when I checked Canada Post, it had just shipped. So they waited until the middle of freaking June to ship me my Boxy Lux box. That is bullshit. You guys have plenty of time to prepare to ship boxes every single month. You are literally a subscription box. You ship things out once a month. Why is it constantly late? I don't get it. Like I said in May, this was going to be the box that was my deciding factor for if I'm going to be staying with BoxyCharm or not, and right now it's not looking promising. That's where I'm at with that, but as per usual with my BoxyCharm videos as of lately, they're not really positive because every single time that I get my BoxyCharm box, something goes wrong. Anyway, so we are doing June's Boxy Lux unboxing, even though we're doing it in July and it's really late. I hope you guys are still interested in watching this video. I hope you guys are still interested in seeing what I got, even though it's July. And I've already gotten charged for my July box before I even got my Boxy Charm box a week ago. So that's cool. Anyway, let's just dive on into the box. So this month's Boxy Lux unboxing looks like this. Oh look, they didn't even give me memory foam again. Look at that. They think that this is going to stop things from breaking, putting in cardboard. Promising. All right, so here is the card that um, you get with all of the prices on it, and it is really bent and really is starting to get ripped because they didn't put memory foam in. Good job, BoxyCharm. We also got a Kylie Skin coupon that is good until September 30th, so at least it's not expired this time. So that's cool. All right, so the first thing that I see in the box this month is the Tartist Pro. So this is, I think we've already gotten this. This is the Amazon Clay Palette. Let's check this out. Do I already have this? I do not have this palette, but it's not my style of palette, I think. I don't know if we've already gotten this palette or not, but this palette already um, doesn't look very great to me. It's dirty. The product is on the actual like makeup like the pan itself and there's a fingerprint in this one and I'm just not overly impressed and this is not a palette that I would go for so that's a waste of an item to me and that's probably one of the biggest items that's in this box this month and I don't want that I don't like neutral base palettes they're boring so that's already off to a really bad start and I cannot stand the scent of the palette it smells like that fake vanilla scent that I just can't get on board with. I don't like it when eyeshadow has a scent. It just, it's gross. Don't put scent in eyeshadow. Blech. So that is the Tarte Tartius Pro Amazon Clay Palette. It retails for $49, and that's a waste of an item to me because I don't like neutrals, and even in my um, uh, little makeup quiz that I sent to BoxyCharm, I've told them that I don't want neutrals. I don't like neutrals, and they always send neutrals out. So that's great. So the rest of the box looks like this. It's very, very just thrown together. Usually when they have the memory foam in, it's laid in nicely. This just looks like it was all just chucked into this box. So, disappointing. <laughs> so the next thing I see is a brush set. So this is the charcoal brush set. It looks like this. Um, the packaging is pretty, is pretty okay. It's just a standard cardboard packaging, but the brushes are actually really nice. So these are what the brushes look like, and just from taking them out of the packaging, they are very soft. I'm very excited because I was honestly looking um, on the marketplace to get some more brushes, and these brushes seem like they are very nice quality. These retail for $55, says the website. So this is a $55 brush set. They are of really nice quality. So these retail for $35. These are vegan, cruelty-free, and they're synthetic brushes, obviously, because they are vegan. Um, they are charcoal infused with anti-microfibral effect, allowing for flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. So that is a decent amount for brushes, so $55, and they are very, very, very soft. I'm very excited to try these out, and yeah. The next thing that I see is 
body graphy. So an antioxidant lip pencil that glides on like your favorite lipstick with precise pigmentation, rich color to frame, fill in, and define your lips, enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E, and it retails for $28. $28 for a lip pencil? I would not pay that. That is ridiculous. So you get two pencils. So we got a rosy wood lip pencil, which is this dark kind of burgundy color. And we got a nude one, which is pouty. I don't really fill in my lips, so this is another item that I probably won't really use. I don't like pencils like this. I prefer ones that um, aren't actual like pencil pencils, if that makes sense. Um, so I probably will put these to the side and maybe give these away to a friend just because I don't really fill in my lips I don't really know how <laughs> so I don't really like getting lip pencils in um, Subscription boxes we have been getting a few lately of different lip pencils in the boxes that I've been getting and It's always disappointing to me because I don't use them. So that retailed for $28 the next thing is the Malin and Gotez Recovery Treatment Oil. So this is the treatment absorbs quickly to nourish skin and helps improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Evening primrose, argan, and jojoba oil helps boost hydration. Grapeseed and rosehip oil delivers vitamin C and E to help improve skin tone. Geranium and borage oils help balance skin, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive. And this retails for $82. So I believe the last time we did a BoxyCharm unboxing, we got another um, oil. So I'm curious what this one is going to be like. I have not tried the um, the other oil that I got in my last BoxyCharm. I will be doing that in a future video, but this is what the bottle looks like. It is a blue bottle and it smells strongly of essential oils. So it did list a bunch of essential oils um, just in the description with the primrose, argan oil, jojoba oils and grapeseed oil. It did list a bunch of different ones and you can smell it through the packaging. It is very strong. So I don't need to open it to smell it. It it kind of smells citrusy. It kind of smells like, it smells like essential oils, like the way essential oils smell. And then I'm kind of getting like, um, maybe it's the grapeseed oil I'm smelling, but I'm kind of getting like a strong citrus scent, which would probably be like a lemon almost scent. So it looks like this, it retails for $82, which is very expensive, and I'm very interested to try this out because anything that will help with fine lines, I am interested in. So, that is very exciting. That is the first item besides the brush set that I am excited for. My hands now smell like the oil, even though I didn't even open it. So the next thing that I see is Smile Science. So, actually, this is kind of funny to get because I have been meaning to try out this My Smile um, whitening, like light thing that I purchased off of Amazon. And now we got a My Smile, um, or now we got a Smile Science teeth whitening pens. So these are pens and they say, these two pen pack teeth whitening gel will have your teeth whiter and brighter after just one use. The duo pen packs will last you all month and it retails for $80. So that's really cool. I honestly have been looking on the marketplace for a teeth whitening, um, kit to help with my teeth just says I don't have like super yellow teeth but I do want to whiten them which is why I bought the my smile um, tooth whitening thing like the, the set so now I have this to also try out I'm curious what these ones look like I probably will do the one I got off of Amazon first though just to see what it's like but then you can always do touch-ups with this my smile teeth whitening pen so I am very excited to try this you get two pens full of the teeth whitening whatever and it says brush teeth and floss twist pen to dispense gel smile wide to keep lips away from teeth dry teeth the drier the teeth are the better the results apply a thin layer of gel to teeth keep off gums rinse after 30 minutes so you're supposed to smile for 30 minutes okay that's weird um so that is really interesting i will definitely try this out with you guys on my channel retailing for 80 dollars that is very expensive considering remember everything is in usd so that is over 100 dollars canadian to me so that is very exciting and very 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 expensive so moving on to the next thing i see i see a bb cream so this is from the brand pure Lee's perfect glow bb cream spf 30. so this is an oil-free moisturizing natural looking coverage it's for all skin types and i got um, I don't know I got the color light so they actually did send me hopefully a color that will um, work because the last foundation or CC cream or whatever it was that they sent out was um, a little bit too dark for me so Ew. 
let's see if this is my color. So it is actually my color. It, um, it actually blends into my skin nicely. Um, it Obviously that's just on my hand though, so how it works on my face will hopefully not be too different, but if it does oxidize, it may be not my color, but I'm hoping that it won't. That's the problem with getting CC creams and foundations online and in subscription boxes because you run the risk of not getting your exact color. But just looking at it on my hand, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good match and it is just the color light. So I'm really hoping that this works out because the last foundation that we got in BoxyCharm I couldn't actually use. So this is the Pure Release Beauty Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. So I really like having SPF in um, foundations just because I don't have to put a sunscreen on when I go outside if I'm wearing a BB cream that already has it. So that's really great. So it says the complexion perfect gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer with all of the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. And it retails for $35, which is pretty standard for um, a CC BB cream, just like a higher end brand. So this is the Pure Elise brand. And I'm very excited to try this out. So I'm not getting, I'm getting a little bit of like a sunscreen scent um, just from my hand, but I'm not getting any like really, really gross, really strong scents. So that's very exciting. I will definitely be trying this out in the future with you guys. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in a review on this product. I'm very, very excited to try that out. And the next thing I see in the box, I'm assuming this is going to be an eyeliner. So Lily Lashes Triple Mascara. Oh, it's actually a mascara. We have not gotten a mascara in quite a while now and that is exciting because I was starting to run out of the one that I have been using. I've been using the Big Ego by Tarte and I wasn't really the biggest fan of this. I didn't really like the wand. I found it was a little bit hard to use and I'm honestly just tired of it and ready to move on. The only thing I really like about the Big Ego um, mascara is the packaging is freaking cute. But this is the Lily Lashes Mascara. So an extra lengthening, extra volumizing, extra bold mascara with tapered dual fiber wand that defies and coats each and every lash with an ultra black velvety smooth formula. And it retails for $24. So that's really awesome. Um, I'm very excited to try this out. I want to see what the wand looks like. So it is, I wish it was like a curved wand. That is one thing that I wish it, it had been, but I'm very excited to try it out. It seems like a decent size and that's awesome because like I said, I've been on the hunt to find a new mascara and I don't usually buy mascara because we usually get them in subscription boxes. And the last thing that I see in here is the Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. So this is our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. And it retails for $24. Let's open this up and see what it looks like, what the packaging looks like. So it looks like this. It has bubbles in it. It almost looks like it's carbonated. That's really interesting. Um, this is exactly what I was expecting for packaging from Kylie Jenner. It kind of reminds me almost of like ColourPop, like the um, Fourth Riley kind of stuff. But let's see what it smells like. Is there a stopper? Nope. Ooh, it smells really fresh. So it does smell like something that I would really, really like. I'm very excited to try this out. I will try this out in the future on my channel with you guys. I I think it's going to be awesome. So it's a foaming face wash. I've not tried anything from this brand before. I know that Kylie Jenner's brand is a very big brand, but I've not tried anything from it before. So you get five fluid ounces, so that is 149 milliliters, and it says, oh, it basically everything that was on the card. So I'm very excited. It says that it's cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free, and it lasts 12 months. So I'm very excited to try this out. So that retailed again for $24. That was everything that was in this month's Boxy Lux box. So besides the Tarte palette that I don't need because I'm not really the biggest fan of their color story and the lip pencils, I was very excited for everything else that I got. I'm really, really excited for this Smile Science um, whitening pen. I think that is really awesome that BoxyCharm sent this. That is really cool. I'm very excited for the brushes. I'm excited for, to try the CC cream or BB cream. I'm excited for the oil. I'm excited for the mascara, I'm excited for the face wash. I'm honestly excited for most things. The only things that I, again, is just that the palette is really boring. So I'll show you guys the palette again if you guys are interested. It looks like this, and it's just a complete nude palette with one pop of color, which is the blue. And 
I find that really boring and this is not a palette that we haven't already seen and like I said there is some issues with it. There's a fingerprint in one of the shadows and there's actually dents in almost every one of the shadows which is probably just from shipping but there is a fingerprint and um, I'm just not really into it. I might keep it and try it out just because their, their shadows are really nice. Tarte, Tarte has a really nice formula, but they just don't have shadows that really wow me for the color story. I find them to be really boring, but I might keep this out and try it in the future. If you guys are interested, let me know. I will do a look with it, but again, I'm just not into neutral palettes. So that was everything that was in this month's Boxy Lux box. It retailed for $377. I paid about $86, so I got well over $300, well, a little under $300 worth of products for my buck. So I'm very excited. This was definitely worth the wait. Um, like I said, this was my deciding factor if I'm going to stick with BoxyCharm or not. And I've already been charged for July because I got my box after they charged me. So I couldn't even really decide. So I guess July's box will be the decider because I couldn't really decide right now because my box was late. But I hope you guys did still enjoy this unboxing. I'm sorry that it's so late. I know that it is going to be going up and closer to the middle of July and that is ridiculous considering this is a June box. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content like this and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!